tingin ko dito ang Omega Esports, they're heavily relying on ganking and pick-offs. Since pick most of uh, their heroes are really good uh -huh. kapag sa mga solo heroes. It's all about the pick-offs for OMG. And you have the 5v5 Royal Rumble capabilities para dito sa side ng execration. It is the debut of this hero. Eve is now in Mob uh, MPL. And here we go. Pauna na naman sa wave clear TDZ. But look at this. Inuna ka agad dito purple. yung purple buff. At sabi natin kanina, si Heath with the jawhead, he can easily easily disrupt Ooh. the uh, the purple at ito-throw, uh, i-ejector niya lang yung, uh, yung purple buff dito. At habang naghahanap din ng purple buff, yung OMG. At tingin ko, Lito Wanderer talaga. Since iisa lang yung Lito Wanderer, siya ang magiging priority other than the uh, orange and the purple buff. Ibang klase dito yung ginawa ng OMG. May napansin ako sa OMG, ha? Oh. May meta sila ngayon, TDZ, na wave clear agad. Mm. Kahit ano mangyari, unahin yung wave para sa Lito. Tingin ko, ah, kaya... Ganun yung ginawa, eh. Kaya pala, nag, uh, kaya pala ang play sa nila dito, 1-3-1, para first wave clear, Ubos. pwersa agad sa Oo. Lito Wanderer. Pwersa agad, tapos ginamit dito yung Jawhead. Ngayon, ang tanong, how important is that delay na ginawa ngayon ni Heat kay KLBJ? Kuya TDZ. Mm, tingin ko dito, napakalaking bagay kasi madidisable mo kaagad si KLVJ moving around the area but I think he was successful taking it in. Yeah. Pero, may iwan siya sa level. KLVJ, he just hit his level 4 and compared with the uh, solo pressure na pwedeng ibigay dito ng OMG, that is already enough. Hajizi also got his level 4 so meron agad silang vision ko nasan si KLVJ. And look at the minimap, Kuya Manjin. Ano yun? Pressure kaagad ng OMG. Lahat, almost, Yung, uh, yung pwestuhan dito ng OMG, dalawa sa middle lane, dalawa sa bottom lane. Because after using the mountain shocker, meron silang idea kung nasan si Kiel. Alam nila, no? So talagang tinitignan ngayon ng Omega si Kiel. Actually, ako tumitingin ako ngayon kay Heat. Kasi mm. eventually kapag meron ka talagang jawhead in your lineup, gusto mo na makakuha ka ng vision. Gusto mo na makakuha ka ng scout mm -hmm. para alam mo kung saan magpa-farm yung mga kalaban mo. There you go. That's ejector for the Eve! And Uy. hindi na tumama yung Thunder's Rat. Nice! Fli uh, purify mm -hmm. from Etomax to get out of the way. Ang ganda ng pagkaka-purify niya doon. And also utilizing his mobility or the lack of the mobility. Le pero, Tol, nakita mo doon eh. Level 2 pa lang si Heath. Or si level 3 niya lang. Yeah. Lalo kapag nagkaroon siya ng additional points sa kanyang smart missiles, eh, we are expecting a lot of burst damage from OMG. So talagang alam, this time yung OMG, pare, pumapasok dito yung sinabi mo. Mm. Pick off, pick off, pick off. Use the ejector, use the lightning ball from Haze. This time, execration, sasagot sila. There you go, real world manipulation para kay Ito Max dito. But the turtle has been slain para kay Haji Z. But the king is coming in with the Tempest of Blades. But Haji Z, right now, siya tumatakbo. Talawa na nawala para sa side ng Exe. May ejector na naman. Renjo soaking in all of the damage. Mapapagamit siya dito, of course, ng kanyang revitalize as Renjo will just back off. Toshi, napapasok dito. Toshi with the kill. Singling Eagle. Oh, no! Oh, yun ang magandang opportunity. Kaya nakakuha sila ng Matilda. Kahit saan ka pumunta, even with the quad shadows, once na-click ka ng, ng uh, circling Eagle, hahabulin at nahahabulin ka ni Matilda. Wow! Also, with the burst damage from his skill 1, and also Kel VJ, inabsorb. Hinate. Hinate. Dito yung, uh, yung Uwe Shadow Kill. Yeah. At uh, kita natin dito, yung uh, nangyari kanina sa fight sa, sa Turtle area nakita ni Heath na gumagamit siya ng real world, real world manipulation kaya, and also with the damage from the smart missile they're able to kaya na pagamit ka agad TDZ but uh, holding uh, that thought nagkaroon tayo ng team fight dito medyo heavy yun ha kasi that time nawala si Heath in exchange for Kelra and dahil doon sa nangyaring team fight na in-explain mo lang ngayon mm -hmm. eh parang nakabalik na kagad ang Excel look at this wow. napaka aggressive ng execration pumasok hanggang doon sa second tower at nako mukhang na-disrupt ngayon ng OMG but eto Max will play, uh, pay for the price meanwhile Toshi just doing the classic Omega things splitting up the map and pushing the tower in the top lane so yes naging aggressive ngayon ng Exe pero parang bitin pa rin bitin pa rin parang talaga. mas OMG pa rin ngayon na nagko-control ng laban indeed I completely agree at nakikita natin dito sa may net worth 
13.8, almost 14k. Pero ang ginagot ni Omega, control the purple buff as early as possible. Wag nating bigyan ng purple buff dito si uh, si KelVJ para uh -huh. stop at least yung kanyang uh, uh, power spike. Yung power spike na mukhang makikita na natin ngayon as Gelra wow, uh, will actually take down Haze. Actually si Eto Max pa yun, pero eto na si KelVJ siya lang mag-isa dito. Let's see Tempest of Blades, pero madadash out to. Pero kailangan na ni Jack no pumunta. KelVJ with again another risky play. Wow! wow! Execration now, taking control of the turtle. Ang ganda ng pagkaka-prioritize pagka dito ng execration. Nakita natin na, okay, humahabol lang o humahabol dito si Hadjizi. That's the main priority. But look at this, circling eagle na naman. At Kiel VJ magiging oh. next target. Mga makakatakas dito si Kiel. Tuloy-tuloy ata yung aggression dito pa rin. Oh, Kiel! Oh. Wow! Wow! Surviving! Ang lupit doon tol ni Chuck no, yung guiding wind niya giving additional shield para kay Kelvin na makatakas the guiding wind with the soul bloom Ch oh the Chuck Mamba with with the assist pare napakalupit what a play to save his ally poging pogi si Chuck no doon mala oh, master tol. wow ibang klase talagang uh, hinahanap niya hinintay niya muna sige dito pumunta with the guiding wind shook may additional shield nakatakas at nakatakas agad with the movement speed at wow. yun yung kailangang itignan ng OMG kasi alam dapat malaman nila kung nasin si Chaknu it's either take down Chaknu as early as possible or even or even or even uh, burst down KLVJ instead instead speaking of burst gusto nilang i-burst kaagad si Renjo dito actually Omega I think they're fully aware TDZ na kailangan laging online yung team fight mm. hindi pwedeng Nagpapahinga yung team fight nila as KLBJ is now falling low and men I think nakaligtaan na rin natin pag-usapan. Yes, maganda yung pinapakita ng Exe dito. But look at Kurt TZ right now. Mm. The Uranus with zero deaths. Wow. TDZ tinanong kita kanina kung nagbabalik na ba yung hero na to. Mukhang sinasabi ng Omega, oo. Tol, kaya. Kaya. Brute Force bless, uh, Breastplate plus the Oracle. Ang bilis niya kaagad makapunta sa mga teamfight. And look at this. Talagang hinaharang niya na binabasok niya dito si Chuck Nu and also Renjo. And it's really great. Just mo watch sa loob ng wow. real-world manipulation. Yeah, na tumama nga lahat ng Mountain Chunker doon sa real-world manipulation. But again, OMG, napakakunat pa rin nila. Kelra is down for 10 seconds. But wow! Oh, men ang aksyon ng laban na to, hindi ko na malaman kung saan ako titingin. Ang tinitignan ko na lang, sino ba nakakuha ng tamang trade? Sino ba nakakuha ng mas magandang trade? And I think, halos lahat na pupunta sa Omega eh. Lahat. I completely agree sa positioning, sa trade-ups, sa prioritization ng mga heroes na, na, na tinatarget nila, kuhang-kuha dito ng OMG. But we need to keep in mind, execration, na kapag si KLVJ nakahanap ng isa pang uh, core item on top of the Demon Hunter Sword, mas mahihirapan dito ang, uh, ang, um, ang Omega pag, tumatap, pag tumapat na naman tayo sa late game. Pwede makabalik, TDZ, mm. no? Pero I think, bilang isang co-marksman myself, yeah. I, can I can therefore say, pare, na pag nag-miss si KLBJ dito ng burst para kay Hajizi, mm. kayang-kayang patumbahin ang Yishun Shin ng link. Indeed. Oo, but again, malalaman natin yan kung mangyayari man yan as... Team OMG is still putting on the aggressive movements, ruthless aggression. Ang kinang, uh, kanilang pinapakita nila, parang hindi nila pinapahinga yung XA. Eh. Hindi, hindi talaga nila papahingahin yan. Kasi ganun talaga yung composition dito ng OMG. They need oh. to go for the gangs. They need to always continue with the fight. Kasi kapag nakahalap na magandang chepo dito ang execration at na-counter sila, parang ganito. Oh. Nako, may hirapan dito ang OMG within the next 5 minutes or within the next 2 minutes or so. At parang kanina pag ginagawa dito yung mga guiding wind, guiding wind, no? Kelra now coming in. Here comes it. Napakaganda Thunder Strat. And there you go, the real world manipulation na mula lahat sa side ng OMG. Pero lumabas sila. Nako. Lumabas sila dun sa chessboard, tol. Tol, hindi talaga nila kailangan makapaglaban dun sa loob ng, wheel, ng, uh, ng chessboard. Kasi kapag nandun sila with the additional, with the counts from his, uh, from Etomax's uh, ultimate, mauubos at mauubos sila doon. Kapag ini-swipe mo kasi yung tol, yung oh, main world, slow. Super slow yun eh. Kasi pag kumbaga, mo naman, damage na napakasakit. Kumbaga, kung ngayalin tulad mo sa totoong buhay, yun yung mga tropang kagawad na nakalinya. Nakalinya. Naglalagay dito ng caution, <laughs> lockdown kami. Pero sabi ng OMG, hindi, lalabas kami. Lalabas kami. Hindi kami pwede mag-stay dyan, hindi kami pwede mag-quarantine dyan. Nakabaks out doon tol. Oo. Oh. Hindi... Nako, yun ang nagiging playstyle dito ng execration. And look at the items here, ladies and gentlemen. Enchanted talisman para kay Kelra. At si Kelra ang, di, ang uh, hero na di natin gaano napapansin. Oo, 
sumasakit na din ha. So, na ang sinasabi mo pala dito TDZ, yes, may debt si Kelra dito, but that is an Alice. So, mm -hmm. ibig sabihin dito TDZ, ang gusto ng exe is doon mangyari yung laban sa loob ng manipulation na yun. Totoo. Kasi gusto nila tabi-tabi sila. Totoo yan. At, na, at alam din ng, uh, ng OMG na okay, lamang sila sa teamfight. Tingin mo naman, si Kelra, sinigurado ni, uh, ni, ni Chuck no na bago siya ma-ejector, dito ni, ni Heath, nagamit na yung kanyang guiding wind. So oh, oh. kahit sobrang layo niya, pwede agad siyang pumunta oh, doon oh. kay Chuck no for that more So, uh, so ang ibig sabihin ba nito, TDZ, is hindi na kagad makaka-pick off ang OMG? Kasi parang ganun yung nangyari. Sa last two team fights na nakita natin, yes, nakakawala ang Omega, pero yung mga attempts nila ay unti-unting nag-fail. Indeed, kasi aware na rin ng execration dito na, okay, kapag meron na iwang isa, Kayang-kayang i-burst ka agad ng OMG. It's either you by uh, by Toshi or it's it's either by Hajizi. Yeah. So respect ang ginagawa dito ng execration. Respeto Ricardo, sama-sama puwersa. There you go. Real world manipulation sa Bayong Blood Odd sa loob. Kelra, oh ladies and gentlemen, with the Blood Odd nako. Toshi ngayon ang magiging main target. Kelra inaabot siya. Oh, flowing blood. Oh, blood. And sa by second skill, Toshi na paggamit na ng blades, pero nakuryente na nga. Oh no. Two heroes are now down for OMG. Kelra also kakamanggit mo lang Tads. Flowing blood in. Double kill na rin. Mountain Shakarino, mapapatumba si Kelra, but still tatlo na yung napatumba 10-10 is the scoreline lamang ang OMG we have ourselves a great ball game TDZ indeed at nakita naman natin Hajizi unti-unti na siya nakakaroon ng kanyang items endless battle pickup for this guy 2-1-5 ang kanyang KDA and also BOD so masakit na talaga ang uh, damage dito especially using the passive the heavenly bow kapag nakahanap siya ng magandang positioning dito it's kahit si Kel VJ kailangan niya laging gamitin or keep in mind kung bago niya gagamitin kanyang ultimate to get out of the fight. So parang ano, parang double sided ko yun yun eh. Either gagamitin mo yung ultimate mo pang uh, pang aggressive para mahuli si Hajizi. Uh -oh. Pero with after using your ultimate, you need to make sure na mapapatay mo si Hajizi in the burst. Yeah, ang hirap din kasi sa isang Alice, maghihintay ka ng damage eh. Mm. Hindi mo minsan hindi mo calculated eh. Totoo. Kung yatap mo eh, alam mo lang magsusurvive ka ba ta Hajizi magsusurvive pa siya dito mukhang hindi na nakupote naman pang siya dito ng void blast. Oh no, Kelra and company now owning OMG. Dalawa na wala sa side ng OMG. There you go, na super slow pa nga. But Toshi from the back, oh. there you go. Napalaban pa, Reggio magiging main target. Nasa loob ngayon ng execration. Can Toshi, can Toshi do it? Oh no, Kelra and KelBJ. The double K connection is here. Execration will wipe out Omega. Nakita natin yung positioning dito ng execration. Creation. Magaling silang pumili ng fight. Nakita nila na maganda yung pagkakalagay dito ng real-world manipulation ni, uh, ni Etomax and that gave them a lot of opportunity. And uh, I saw them earlier na may nakakuha siya ng Ice Queen 1. Yes! Down. And TDZ, tapos ata! Nako. Tapos ata! Nako. Kelra and Kiel, ladies and gentlemen! Kalahati dito ngayon ng base at ngayon napalaban pa ang OMG. Kamuntikan pa! At sa wakas, nakita na natin the debut ng bagong partnership. Kaibigan TDZ, Nako. Kelra and Kiel, what a combo! Napakagandang wow, movement dito, the Kelra and Kiel VJ connection. Talagang alam nila kung sino, kung sino ipaprioritize nila when it comes to that fight. But and again, another fight na naman, umalis ka agad ang OMG sa real world manipulation. Na oh, nahihirapan sila sa slow nun eh. Oo, oh, man, at talagang nakikita mo naman, si Kiel VJ umaatake na naman. Oh! Able to take down the jawhead out of the play. Two for one exchange. Ibang klase pare the sustain. And now nag overstay ang OMG. Nag over chase sila. Execration. Again, another late game uh, winning situation. Na pwedeng mangyari dito. Tatlong hero ngayon ang buhay sa side ng OMG pero may revitalize dito ngayon ang side ng Exe. Toshi, he wants to target Chakno. Chakno with the circling eagle in. Matatarget si Toshi dito. Toshi. Soul Bloom coming in. Toshi, oh my glove. Uh -oh. Naging, naging super, uh, super sacrifice na lang para lang madistract ang execration pero mukhang hindi mangyayari yun TDC dahil mukhang tuloy pa rin ang Lord Dance natin Heat right now there you go may may ejector siya pumasok mo lang si Kurt dito the Uranus Lord? but the Lord will go in the hands of the King Kelra papasok na naman there you have it Hajizi Pulado at mukhang tapos na TDC ang laban Heat na palaban pa but then again Kurt can he manage to survive this? Ooh. mukhang hindi 
At ang sakit talaga ng damage dito ng execration. 4 for 2 exchange. Nakita natin yung fight dito. Uh, again, with the real world manipulation. Plus the ultimate here from Kel VJ. Huling huli ka agad. Tinanggal agad nila si Heat uh, out of the picture. At dun sila naging confident na okay. Sige, atin to. Walang, uh, walang unstoppable force. Walang ejector. Nakakagalaw agad si Kelra. And also with the mobility na binibigay dito ni Chuck Nu. Mas mabilis siya. Mas mabilis mag-reposition dito yung execration and that's, I think, the reason why they won that fight. At mukhang it's game, TDZ. No. It is execration with a 2-0 debut dito sa MPL Season 7.